Coach on the road with my man, KL, Corey Lee. Yep. Corey, I mean, you know, you got a, a little bit of experience under your belt. I mean, what has you found to be the difference from day one to now? Uh, just the intent. Um, you got to come in here every day ready to work. Um, I think I learned that at a young age um, over in Houston, and I think Maldonado taught me a way to work, and um, I got to continue that with him here earlier this year, and um, he's held me accountable the entire time, and the, the people here have held me accountable to come in here every every day and, <laughs> and do what I need to do to, to have some um, success up at that game time, whether that's 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, whatever time that is, it's just getting yourself ready to, to go out there and perform at your best. So taking our youngsters behind the scenes, I mean, what is it like to be a rookie coming into the big leagues, coming into a major league locker room, just got to learn your way around? Yeah, you got you to gotta be open to, to learning. You got to be open to, to what people have for you on, on their side of things, on the advice, and then um, you got to stay true to who you are and you can't try to be anybody else. Um, you're going to be got to be yourself at the end of the day. That's what got you here. And um, just got to be an open book and got to continue to, to learn every day. So how long does it take you to kind of settle in and get your feet under you and feel like, okay, I'm... I'm... It takes every day. Um, I'm, obviously, you're still learning something new. Um, every day you come into the locker room, but um, you start getting familiarity with, with the guys around you. You start getting in a good routine. You start figuring out what works for you. And um, you, as long as you're you're doing something that's going to enhance your, yourself into that next day, then I think you're doing the right thing. So have you reached that point where, you know, coming in at the big leagues, it's always that uncertainty about, number one, getting here, staying here, and have you stopped looking over your shoulder? You always have to. You always <laughs> have to keep that chip on your shoulder, man. As soon as you start getting comfortable, this game will, will humble you. And um, I pride myself on coming in here every day and, and just trying to get better and trying to learn something new. Um, and I think if you, you stop getting that edge, and um, some people are going to start passing you, and you always got to have that edge on, on, the, on the side of your mind. So I've always told my guys, quickest way to the big leagues, pitching and catching. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're a catcher. Have you found that it was just more than you realized to be a catcher on a major league level? Absolutely. It's, it was more than, than just going out there and catch. It's a, it's a real mm -hmm. job that you got to come in here every day, and people are looking to you to – to bring that energy every day and I'm, I'm fortunate enough to to have that job I'm blessed enough to, to do it every day and just call it my job and um, I, I got to do it for fun and now like I said I get to I get to have a job out of it and I get to make a career out of it and um, it's it's great to have a group of guys look to you to to have success or to, to lead you into the into a game and, and just rely on you I think it's it's kind of similar or familiar to um, to football is you're the, you're the quarterback. People are looking to you to, to call a play. People are looking to you to to have the right plays and, and know what's happening on defense. And I think I, I have those qualities is when I'm catching. And you know, it's average 12, 13 pitches on a major league roster. I mean, is it kind of a challenge to know every pitch is different and their strengths and weaknesses? Yep, you got to know them better than they know themselves almost. And mm -hmm. I pride myself on doing my homework and I pride myself on talking to them outside the field. And um, I think that, that all goes a long way. Oh, what about hitting? Rumor has to catch and spend so much time with the pitchers. They don't get much time with the head coach. Yeah, that's, that's why you got to come in here early. You got to get your work. You got to know what, what gets you right and how many swings you got to take. Obviously, just working the uh, or playing with the workload and seeing if you need a little bit more that day. But um, I think the, the line that all athletes know is that defense wins championships. And I think the, the most important thing is catching. And obviously, the hitting comes at a at a different time and um, times and place. And obviously, if you go for, for four, it's a great day. But um, I think number one priority is, is going back there and catching. A lot of people don't understand the dudes that have catch has to pay behind that plate during the, the winter, the cold, yep. the summer. The you got to love it no matter what, when you're doing it, whatever, what time, whatever, whatever the weather is, you just got to love doing it. So. Not to mention them long in it, swatting exactly, down. <laughs> exactly. You just got to love it, man. All right, last question for you. I mean, you're in the big leagues. I mean, what do you find to be some of your biggest challenges, mainly offensively? Um, I just think sticking to your plan. Um, you got to go up there with a plan. You got to stay stay true to it and not try to fade away and, and get yourself into a different thought. Um, you go up there with a the thought and you, you ride it out until you can't because if you go up there with a plan and you – and you fail, at least you, you went up there with a plan and, and you hold yourself to it. So just whenever you shy away from your, your initial thought or you shy away from your plan, that's when you start beating yourself up. And 
Um, you just got to stay true to yourself and stay true to your thoughts. Coach and my yes. man, Kaylee. Thank you. Absolutely. Right. Thank Thanks you. a lot. That's the main thing first. They have to have the opportunity. They have to have different outlets to be able to develop um, that player. You have a, a average player, you know, they're raw talent. And so they need at least two or three, maybe even four years of development to get to that next level, you know, to get even part of their talent, you know, with, with the other players. So um, we need leagues like this to be able to showcase the league, have it, uh, players another opportunity, uh, you know, to showcase and develop that talent. Um, but it, it takes time. Sounds like an exciting time. Again, it's uh, it's needed. Definitely need uh, some more developmental leagues to give uh, ball players an opportunity uh, just to progress and see where they're at. There's, a, there's those diamonds in the rough. There's those players that are hidden gems. Uh, they haven't been discovered yet. That uh, sounds like that's what the league is for, just to give them another opportunity, uh, some more exposure, some more experience, you know, advance and see how far they can go.